Hey guys, Josh from Fit and Furious here to tell you about how I found a solution to squat in my tiny little basement workout room. As you can see, here's a little video of my space, seven foot by 11 foot with 84 inch ceilings. So very tiny space up here in Moorhead, Minnesota in a little old Rambler built in the 60s. This used to actually be a kid's bedroom. The people that we bought the house from had four or five kids. And I think the child that lived in this one when they became a teenager said, I'd rather have my own room, even if it's a tiny little thing. So that's my workout room now. So I had big problems trying to find a squat rack that would fit in the space. Um, after looking around, there was really no options, but then I kept seeing this name PRX pop up in my searches. And I remembered that they had been on Shark Tank a few years back and they're a local company up here in Fargo, North Dakota. So I emailed them and told them the dimensions of my, my room. And actually they found that uh, these, these pro level racks wouldn't fit there too tall, but the profile rack the profile folding squat rack was the one that would fit in the room with my dimensions. So here's what it is. It's just a pretty basic rack that uh, folds up and down and only sticks out of the wall from the wall four inches when it's installed. So I uh, received that, went and picked it up, which is nice. Didn't have to ship um, big heavy packages. And actually you can see in the uh, video here, Here's the boxes that they all came in. So I just threw them in the back of my car and brought them home. And the nice thing is in the installation manual here, it comes with all the hardware, which is very nice, but it tells you exactly what tools you're going to need to install it. Uh, I know most people probably don't have a 15 16th socket and open-ended wrench, which for the size of these bolts, that's really what you need. So I just uh, marked everything I had and the ones that I didn't, I just went to the hardware store and purchased those items so I wouldn't have any problems installing them. So let's check out a time lapse of the install. All right, look at this guy go. All right, the biggest problem I had in my room was attaching to this plywood that was against a concrete wall. So I had to use some boards. Normally you won't need to use that if you just have regular studs. They have the holes spaced out to accommodate regular stud spacing. You won't need any extra boards and it comes with all the hardware, pretty slick. I'd say it took me about two hours to fully install the rack that's because i'm a measure five times cut eight times kind of guy not a very good bob vila impersonator so it takes me a while to get things straight and level once i overcame my problems of getting everything nice and straight uh, went up perfectly uh, folds up and down very nice the gas shocks assist with handling that weight transfer so it doesn't slam down on the floor and then i finished Here's me looking very proud of myself next to the rack, which is folded up in the folded up position there. So, and here's a little video of the rack set up for use, folded down. And remember my ceiling is only 84 inches. So I really had to find a solution that would fit in my tiny space. Here's how easy the rack folds up against the wall. It takes one hand to lift it up. Those gas shocks really help manage that weight pretty freaking slick and there's the rack put away folded up against the wall only takes about four inches away from the wall of my space i can still do all my regular workouts dumbbell stuff full body stuff in the in the same room i always have with no loss of space thanks prx check them out on the web we'll see you next time